Speaker after speaker at a one-day town hall meeting have called on the youth to say no to election violence and to join in the campaign against any act that could mar the November 18th governorship election in Anambra State. This was the high point of speeches made by security chiefs during the town hall meeting in Oka, where leaders of the United for Zero Violence Foundation at local government areas were inaugurated. The event, which was organized by the United for Zero Violence Foundation, attracted youth representatives from all the council areas, addressing the youth, numbering over 1,000. The State Commissioner of Police Mr. Garba Omar called on the youths to face their primary obligation, which is to go to the polling unit to cast their votes, and afterwards may wish to stay back and monitor their vote. Mr. Omar said any act that could lead to violence before, during, and after election would attract the wrath of the law, appealing to them not to fall prey to pranks by desperate politicians who would only use and dump them. And this is an opportunity for you to showcase your potentialities to avoid crime and criminality, to show crime and criminality. I expect you to play an important role. Speaking, the state commander, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Alhadi Sule Momodu, advised youths not to accept drugs from anyone which may influence them to perpetuate unlawful acts like snatching of ballot boxes or allow anyone to influence them to cause problems by giving them peanuts. Rather, they should vote their conscience for a better tomorrow. We can still get there. But the only way we can get there is don't let somebody buy you drugs to use you to influence an election. You see, the politicians are very good at using you to achieve their aim. And once they get there, they forget you. Contributing, the Director, Department of State Security, Mr. Yusuf Ishako, urged youths to be aware of the information they peddle on the social media, citing example with the recent rumor that caused closure of schools in Anambra as one of the bad effects of peddling lies and propaganda on the internet. The grand patron and founder, United for Zero Violence Foundation, High Chief Ken Mwabeze, explained that they noticed that the youth are the victims in elections and decided not to allow it this election period. Hence, the need for voter education where the youth will be trained to go into the nooks and crannies of their various communities to educate their fellow youths on the need for peace before, during and after elections. So voter education is a very key area that we don't expect the politicians to engage in. The politicians will engage in their campaign to solicit for your votes. All the moon again, we don't talk about is to involve ourselves in a campaign to educate the people on one, how to vote, on two, how to conduct yourself, but most importantly, and avoid being used for. On his part, the co founder of the foundation, Prince Chima Onguzurike, noted that no election or personal ambition deserves the shed of blood, urging the youth to preach peace wherever they are. In their separate species, the national coordinator, Mr. Doji Ameidu, the state coordinator, Comrade Ike Ikele, and the past chairman, Nigeria Labour Congress Women Committee, Mrs. Monica Okolo, urged the youth to safeguard their future by saying no to violence, saying that the youths, as future leaders, should prepare to take over from the aged, which they said cannot be guaranteed if their future is jeopardized by desperate politicians. Some of the youths, Ms. Chinenye Elele, Obiama Chuku, and Henry Okonkwo said they are ready to be vanguards on propagation of the information on the need for a violence-free election in Anambra State. The event featured question and answer session. In Oka, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News.